Hi all, in the previous video, we have learned how the how to manipulate the data with the basic Excel um, control and then we created charts and graph from certain columns. But in some of the cases, we want to further analyze the raw data we have so that we can create another type of graph or chart. Then we will need more analysis. But this analysis is not so very deep into a machine learning. It is just the most basic manipulations like how to find maximum a number of years, uh, or, or, or I would say that who has served the company longer in this case of data, and then how do we find it? Okay, and then who is the newest employee in the company? Who is the uh, what is the average number of years employees have worked over here from this data? And later on, we also will learn about next sheet, um, how to find total from these total prices, means meaning that how much that the company have made the re revenue. Then we can separate them revenue by categories by trips, average prices offered by uh, each tour, and how many tours have been sold for the last month or during this date. Um, and for the last one, we will categorize them uh, by category again, total category for all of these New York, Chicago, and Miami worksheets. Then we will also learn about how to change the color of all of these worksheet tab, also rename them. All right, before we start, you must have this file. Please download in the ITEL before you proceed. And I will give you the blank one uh, without all of the answers. Let's do it. Right, in this section, we are going to learn about the worksheet first. Basically, when we have real raw data, we want to we can create and separate them into few worksheets, or we can add a new worksheet. Every time when we click the new add sheet, you will found that it will just click and give you a worksheet name. Okay, then we can move the worksheet whatever we uh, wherever we want by click and drag, by click and drag. You will find that there is a small arrow will show where you want to put the worksheet. You also can delete, right click and delete the worksheet if you don't need it. You also can right click and rename the worksheet if you want. So sometimes you may face a lot of worksheets to be included in one Excel file. And that will confuse us which worksheet that we have to look at um, do the modifications. So the best way is we rename each of the worksheets we have. For an example, sheet one, I renamed to sales representative. Because these particular worksheets talk about the sales representative. And then I click the sheet two. This is the sheet for New York sales. So I double click or I right click. Then I put New York. The third one, worksheet three, I put Chicago. The fourth one, I put Miami. And the fifth one is sales summary. So let's rename to sales summary. Now we have five sheets or five worksheets that we have renamed them uh, based on the data. And then we can provide color for the tab for the worksheet. It's up to you what color you want to choose. So what should we do is just right click when you select the worksheet, just right click and select what color you want. It's up to you. But sometimes we will group them based on color. Let's say if you have um, a worksheet that haven't complete, usually I will put a red color or maybe yellow color or maybe orange color. But the worksheet that have been completed, I will put a green color or blue color to differentiate them. That is my, uh, my, my style how to coloring it. You also may color them based on the regions, based on the area, based on the importance, and so on. So I hope in these sections you have learned about how to rename the worksheet and how to uh, put a color or create a color for the worksheet. Let's start with the sales representative worksheets. Over here we have the raw data for name of sales representatives and then from which office and year of services. So in order to answer these questions, it's quite simple. Who has served longest in the company? And who is the newest employee in the company? The last one is, what is the average number of years employees have worked here? In order to answer the first questions, we have to refer to year of services. So this is the range of the data. This is the range of the data. So how to answer who has served longest in the company is referred to the range of the data. The formula we can use over here is maximum. So type max equal to, this is the text. In the cell E5, we put a text, max equal to. And then in the cell F5, we will type the formula equal to max, maximum. Max is maximum. Maximum of 
this range of data. So close the bracket and enter. You will found that years of services 10 is the highest number and it is referred to Lilian Guan. So the answer is Lilian Guan. Answer is uh, sorry, Lilian Guan has served longest in the company. And same technique for question number two, who is the newest employee in the company? Newest means minimum number of year services, which means refer to mean. In the formula itself, type equal to mean, minimum. Minimum and then follow, click cell C4 until C15, then enter. You found that the smallest numbers is two. And from here, we have Raymond. So the answer is Raymond Saint, Saint Z. The third one, what is the average number of years employees have worked over here? So we use average. We know that the formula is average. And in the cell F13, I type equal to average. Select the average formula and then I select the range of the data and close the bracket, enter. We found that it's 5.75. So who has 5.75 or around that? Yeah, we know that it's Tony and then Katy and nearest one is Ant. And yeah, nearest one is Ant. But the question asks what is the average number of years? So 5.75 years. So this is how we use maximum, minimum and average. And please remember that every time when you want to use a formula, you can just type equal to the symbol equal to and type what you want to find. You want to find minimum or mini maximum or average. And then you have to select the data. You have to select the data. So you don't have to worry so much that um, the formula you have click basically will be shown in the formula bar. If you make any mistake, you just backspace, remove it and then do it again. Okay. So if you want to learn about more average A, average if, if, uh, if is, and their French, then you have to find from the formulas uh, tab or you Google it. So where is the formula tabs? The formula tabs is here. Formulas, and you can refer to all of the formulas here. Let's go for the New York worksheet. The New York worksheet shows the January sales for New York, and we have a name of tour, price, sales debt, sales representative, the table that I have created and later on we will go for the total sales. We also found that in the sale price, in the price itself, it used dollar sign. Sales debt, we have um, the debt and the month and the year and we have sales representative. Let's look at the column B first. In the column B, we found that the prices all in dollars, dollar sign. This is by default given by Excel where we can change it to RM, to the currency, Malaysia currency. We just have to use Home tab under Accounting, and then we select RM, Currency. So it's up for you. You want to select Currency or Accounting, RM. After you have, cli have, you have clicked it, you will found that some of the cell have been changed to this uh, tag or these um, symbols. You don't have to worry. It happened just because the length, the size, the size of this, the column is too small. It does not fit the content. So what should you do is move your cursor to the border between column B and column C and then drag it. Now you should see all of the values inside. That is the first thing uh, you learned in these uh, sections. And then go to the next one is about the sales date. Sales date, we found that it's um, number and month. Month also number and uh, the year also number. We want to change it to be a more formal. So in order to do that, we should go for that. Go for short date or maybe go for long date. Okay, short date, this data is shows in the short date. So we may go for long date. But long date, it includes the day of the particular day. And we can do a reformatting for that purpose. 
click for this small icon icon again click to this small icon then it should brings you to that and you can select the date we use this one the last one 14 march 2012 as the format and then click ok it should remove the day so you can try to use other type of format for the date okay next we have to learn about how to find the total sales the total sales from this one this data so it's quite simple you just have to make sure that you have selected cell b28 b28 and then go to the home tab under formula bar just click this symbol this is some symbol or this is what we call a um, total symbol click and try you found that excel have selected the data for you automatically from b6 up to b27 but 26 and 27 are actually empty it's up to you if you want to um, use by default selecting selections by excel you can just enter or else you can reselect the data yourself click and drag just click and drag you don't have to worry eh? if you have made any mistake just click and drag again to the right uh, column or data or cell then enter so this is the total for new york cells i hope you get this next we are going to learn about how to find the tour sol revenue and average price for particular pacific uh, or say all Japan, Costa Rica, and Yellowstone. Let's try for the tour sold first. Tour for sold means how many tour have been sold in this particular uh, raw data. Okay, if you want to count one by one from this case, it's simple because the data raw data is quite uh, few. But then if you have a big data or more data, 1,000, 2,000 data, it's impossible for you to do that. You have to craft uh, using formula, solve it. So we have to use the first formula, which is count. We want to know how many. So we use count. The formula is equal to count if. Count if. So what is the difference between count and count if? Count is total how many. I don't care the category. But if I use count if, uh, we have to refer to the category, the right category. So use count if. Where is the range? It shows you where is the range. The range is here, which is column A. 6 until column A, 25. And then we have to follow with a comma. It says over here. It shows over here is comma. So what is the criteria? The criteria is this F7. So you can type the name Pacific or say, or you can just click the particular cell. This is how we tell the Excel, okay, do this. This is my data. And then this is the criteria. All right. Now close the bracket and enter. You will find that it shows 4. It shows 4 Pacific. Or say so one two three four correct so what should we do next for all of these all japan and so on basically we can just usually or usually we can just um, select the particular cell that having formula and then we drag it and then we drag it but after you drag it sometimes you have to check double check whether the answer is correct or not so you have to randomly click one of the formula or one of the uh, uh, results and then you do a double check so why? Because sometimes the Excel may give you a wrong formula. Excel may give you a wrong formula. So let's try one. Yellowstone. It says that there are five tools have been sold. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Which means that something is wrong here. Sorry, something is wrong here in the cell G10. So what is wrong? If we compare the formulas, you will found that the formulas value have been changed. The formula value have been changed when you click all of this data out of these um, g7 until g10 cells okay why it happened because the excel assumes that it is a running formula when you click and drag it or you double click and drag it it will change accordingly the formula will be updated accordingly but in fact if we refer to all japan so how do i know that it is wrong when i click the formula bar when i click the formula bar i found that the blue sections which is the range data is actually not included specific or say it moved a little bit down but the old japan is fixed so what should i do or how should i solve it it's simple just click this range border and then drag and put it again so make sure you have selected the correct data so it shows now this is correct it shows now this is correct and it shows an error inconsistent formula and never mind you just ignore it Okay, we just ignore the error. There is no error at all. 
Uh, or the second way, uh, you can change it one by one. Or the second way is you have to fix the range. You have to fix the range. For an example, when I click this formula for G7, G7, what should we fix? We should fix the range. For all Japan, we also use this range. Costa Rica, we also use the range. Yellowstone, we also use this range, the blue range. So what should we do is click on A6 and then um, find a keyboard F4. Click it. On your keyboard F4, click it. You will find that the dollar sign have been added. Dollar signs over here means it is fixed. Fix the data or fix the range, sorry. Okay, but F7 cannot be fixed because when we go to the next formula, this red color should move down. The blue one should maintain. So enter. And now we have the right formula for cell G7. Try to drag. Uh, you will found that all Japan is now fixed range with F8 uh, and then fixed range for F9 for Costa Rica. And lastly, G is yellow stud. Also having fixed range. Now let's try for the revenue part. Revenue based on each category, each of the tour. We already know the tour sold, how much, how many tour, tour have been sold, but we want to know how much that we have earned. So what should we do is we use the formula called sum if. Sum if. So double click the formula and it asks for range. Where is the range of the criteria? The first two um, parts are talking about the criteria. So my criteria range from here to here which is the tour parts range and comma follow with criteria. What is the criteria? I want to select the Pacific Passage and then comma again. What is the sum range? Okay, the sum range over here is referred to the prices. So we select the prices and we enter. We found that this is 4403. And same case for all Japan Costa Yellowstone. We also can find them by just click and drag. But, but confirm the answer is wrong. Why? Just check on one of the either one of the formula and click the formula bar. You will found that the range of the data is not as um, the first one, Pacific or set. Okay, they move it down. They follow the sequence and move down the range. So in order to solve this again, back to the first formula, which is H7, which is H7, and click on the range, range sections, press F4, press F4. And then B6, also press F4, press the F4. So now you try it again, double click and drag, it should give you correct data, which is 5862 uh, for H10. And you will found that every time when you click this, uh, only the, the middle one F7, 8, 9, 10 are different, the rest are set meaning that the range have been fixed. Okay, now let us go for the average price section. Same thing, we want to know the average price for all of the tour revenue by the Pacific Ocean. So what should we do is we use the formula equal to average. Average if. What is the range? Again, the range is this. What is the criteria? The criteria is Pacific which is F7. What is the average range? Which is this one, the prices. Then we enter, we will get this result. We will get this result. So we have to fix the range of the data. Don't forget to put a dollar sign using F4 key. Enter, you will get this. So when you click and drag, you get out of this values. <coughs> So you also, of course, we have the tour sold. We also have the revenue. You also can directly find the average price based on these two data. So there are two ways to solve it. So in order to do that, if you if you want to um, try, this is equal to H7 divided by G7. Total revenue divided by tour sold. You will find it is 11007.75, which is almost similar. And you can click and drag we find the exact data. So basically from here, which means that this data has been rounded. This average price has been rounded. You can click the comma style in order to increase the number of decimal point. Okay, same as this one, you can put decimal point. Uh, don't forget, if you found this symbol, nobody just resize the column.
right click save for the file click and save the file next please try for the chicago and miami so there are a few things to do first change the dollar sign to rm second change the date to the required format find the tour find the revenue find the average also find the total sales for chicago and miami let's compare the answer for chicago this is my view about the price sales date and then the total sales is 25726 well this is the total sold per sold revenue average revenue i hope you get the right formula and the right value for miami this is the price this is the sell date columns total sales is 26842 and this is the revenue to a sol and average revenue for Miami sales. So please compare. Now we go for sales summary. In this sales summary, we want to know the total to a sol for Pacific, All Japan, and each of this category, the revenue and the percentage. So in order to find a to a sol, again, we use the formula, just put a B7 cell, B7 equal to click new york click new york worksheet click for this one g7 g7 and then we click plus symbol plus yeah in the formula i have symbol plus eh? go to the worksheet chicago and select g7 and again click plus go to the worksheet miami go to g7 as well and then enter so once you have complete the process, you will found that total sold for Pacific Ocean is 12. And this is the formula. What does it mean over here is in the worksheet of New York, refer to cell G7 plus the worksheet of Chicago, cell G7 plus the worksheet of Miami, cell G7. This is what it means. So now we have total tour sold is 12 for Pacific Ocean and click drag to see the effect we found the yellow stone is 17 okay so how to check double check whether it's correct or not since the new york chicago and miami worksheets are correct we only have to make sure that g10 for each of the worksheets are referred to the yellow stone so we go to new york worksheet <coughs> new york worksheet g10 is yellow stone correct chicago g10 which is six g10 yellow stone and then in the Miami worksheet, G10, which is 5 tour for Yellowstones. So if you sum, exactly it is 17. So which means that this is correct. And same case for the revenue. If you have already know the revenue part, let's say in the New York, revenue is H7. Uh, H7 for Pacific or say. First in your sales summary, you try to click on the previous formula, which is B7, click and drag, click and drag. You will find that it shows New York H7, Chicago H7, Miami H7. So what should you do now is double check. Worksheet New York H7, Worksheet New York H7, which is this revenue. And then Chicago H7 and Miami H7. So that is the result, 13404. And sorry, and now click and drag for the rest of all Japan Costa and Yellowstone. Okay, we have to check, double check each of the formula 7 H7 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 correct H8 H8 H8. Not sure. So all Japan is H8. This one is H8, and the Miami worksheet is H8. Okay, correct. So basically, if one or two formulas are correct, then the rest should be correct. And again, revenue we can have RM. Select them and select accounting format or the comma style. And lastly is the percentage. So what is it percentage over here? Percentage means that what is the percent of this revenue from the Pacific Ocean? So in order to count the percentage, we have to know the total. We have to first know the total. So what is the total of this revenue? We can have uh, this sum formula. Okay. Click on cell C11. Click the button sum. Then we will have the total, which is 77, 
1352. Now to find the percentage, we can use symbol equal to to find the average percentage, oh, sorry, to find the percentage of each particular cell, which is referred to C7 for Pacific OSE, and divide by this one, uh, C11, which is the total. And if we show 17.33, if it does not show the percentage for the cell, please click this button, percent style. Okay, percent style. If we show the percent style, 17%. And then I can increase or decrease the decimal point. And next, what should I do is, in order to find these three values, I just have to click and drag, but it shows divided by nothing, divided by zero. Why this happened? Because of, because of formulas again. So what will be happen here? We check, we check the formula on D8, in the D8, click the formula bar, you will found that this is correct, the blue one is correct. We have selected C8, correct? But here, the red color one have moved down, which means that every time when we drag the formula, it moves one space, which shows this formula is not exactly correct. Okay, if you want to reuse it, what should we do? Again, we want to fix the positions. We want to fix the positions for this red box. So this is referred to C11. Huh? C11 must be fixed. We use F4. And then we enter. We will get 17.33. Now we drag, click and drag. We will show other percentage. So if you want to make sure that it is 100% or double check, just click again the sum of this range of uh, cells and enter. It should show 100%. So now with all of these summary data, we have we should be able to plot more uh, tangible uh, graph. So in this video, I hope you have learned about the, the formula of sum if, average if, count if, sum find maximum value, minimum value, and then how to format the date, how to format the currency, and also percentage. Thank you for watching this video.